everyone, welcome to our video tutorial for this spider web cat bandana that you can see Melba wearing here, kinda. <laughs> so if you enjoy this tutorial, please like, share and subscribe and we hope to catch you soon. Thanks, bye. Okay, to make this spider web uh, cat bandana, you'll need some yarn and I've got this one here which is a, I think it's about a 90% acrylic and then the other 10% is this metal um, metallic running through it. I'm not sure if you can see that on camera. Um, I think it's kind of perfect for a spider web, uh, spider web project. It, um, it's kind of string-like. I don't know if it shows up on camera, but it's not like a uh, you know, a real yarn, but it, I mean, it, you know, it's totally a yarn, but it's, it's not like a wool or a, um, some other acrylics. It's almost like a string. I don't know if you can see that there or a tape yarn or something like that. Uh, this works this project up really well. So if you've got something similar, then go ahead and use that. But the other thing that I did with another project is I used a wool yarn. The wool is the gray. And then I've added in this metallic thread, and that also gives a similar effect. So you can do that sort of thing. You don't have to have the metallic. It's totally optional. I just feel like it, it works pretty well for a spider web effect. So you'll need some yarn. You'll need a darning needle that suits your yarn, and I have a 35 millimeter here. That's focused. You'll need some scissors to snip your ends. A darning needle to weave in your ends and you might want a tape measure to take a measurement for your cat's neck circumference but that's um, that's pretty optional you can just um, with the ties you can just work that out as you go um, you know you can try it on your cat but if you want a, a neck circumference to work with then you can use your tape measure Okay, so the techniques you'll need to know to make this this uh, bandana, this spiderweb bandana, are how to slip knot onto your hook, how to create a chain, how to the most of it is uh, triple crochet, and then you'll there's a couple of places where you'll use a quadruple crochet. Um, this neck band area is made of double crochets. In the ties, uh, slip stitches, a single crochet, and a half double crochet. So from there, you'll just need to know how to weave in your ends, and that's pretty much it. It's a pretty simple and quick project to work up because it's, you know, it's so, so holy. And uh, let's get started. Okay, so to get started, make a slip knot onto your hook. And then we're going to chain five. So go ahead and chain five, which is four plus one. Four and five. So the four in this counts as a triple crochet, and then the one is a chain one. Now yarn over twice and place a triple crochet in this last chain. So the chain furthest from the hook. So Yarn over, pull through two, yarn over, pull through two, and yarn over, pull through two. So I don't run through the stitches super slowly, so if you need to brush up on any, then please do. But otherwise, uh, come with me. So we're chaining one, and then we're going to add six more triple crochets into that same last chain, with a chain one in between. So we want a total of eight triple crochets into this one chain space here, separated by a chain one. So I'm going to go ahead and finish that off. I've got one. Remember that your chain at the beginning counts as one stitch. One, two, three, four, five. And I'm going to go ahead and do three more, and I'll be right back with you. Okay, so there I have my eight triple crochets separated by a chain one space. And just to give you the context of where we're working, this part is this bit here. Okay, so we're going to move on and create the rest of the spider web. 
So for this next row, we're going to chain the four, which is our triple crochet stitch, which counts as our triple crochet stitch. And then we're going to add three extra, so we're chaining seven. Turn. Then we're going to triple crochet into the next, top of the next triple crochet. And then chain three. And then we're going to do that all the way around. So triple crochets into the top of each triple crochet in the previous row. Chain three. So go ahead and finish off this row. One triple crochet above each of the triple crochets in the previous row. Separated by a chain three. And I'll meet you once I get round to my end. And we'll, we'll run through how to work into the chain together. Okay, so I'm down this other end. I'm just doing my last triple crochet above that triple crochet and then I've got the chain left so remembering we're counting it as a stitch so we need to work into it so chain three and then find find that so in your chain find the third chain and work a triple crochet into that third chain so this is what we've got so far and we're going to move on to round three. So this time we're chaining four as our triple crochet. And then we're going to chain an extra five. Three, four, and five. So we've got a chain of nine. Just excuse me one, for one moment. Okay, sorry about that. I just had a, a Melba issue. Okay, so we've chained nine. Now we're just going to do the same as the previous row, placing triple crochets above the triple crochet in the previous row and then in between this one we're going to in this round we're chaining five four and five and then triple crochet into the top of each triple crochet until you get to the end of this row and I'll meet you once again back here and we'll do this finishing part together so that's a triple crochet above each triple crochet separated by a chain five okay so I'm just at the end of my round three so in this previous row we need to leave three chains one two three and then working your last stitch into that fourth chain And that's round three finished. So we're moving on to the fourth and probably final round. Now, um, this round changes slightly. So we've done this, this, oh, sorry about that. We've done this, two, three. And then we're just finishing off this last part here. So you can see this, this was a thicker yarn. So this is going to be slightly bigger bandana than this one today. But, you know, you could um, double your strands if you want a bigger bandana. Just remember that you don't want it to be too wide, okay, because it'll just end up getting wider and wider and wider. So what I've done for this last row is kept these sides a little bit narrow and just extended it down here, okay? So I'll show you how we'll, we'll do that so it kind of makes that bandana shape. So I'll show you how we'll do that for the fourth and final row. So this time we're chaining our four uh, to count as our um, count as our triple uh, triple crochet, yes, triple crochet, and then we're going to chain an extra seven. So um, one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten, eleven. So you want a chain of eleven. I'll turn your work. Now, for these first two, we're just triple crocheting again. So do your triple crochet above the previous, the, the triple crochet in the previous row, just as you've been doing for the, the past rows. And then same again. So chain your extra of seven, four, five, six, and seven. 
And the next one is still a triple crochet. So do your next one as the triple crochet. And then for the next two, we're going to actually quadruple crochet. So what we're going to do here is chain, so we've got our, our two on the side here. So these next ones, we're actually going to just work to extend them down a little bit, okay? So in this next one, chain nine. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, and nine. Okay, so the first two we chained seven and two of those those two stitches were triple crochets. This one, these next ones are going to be quadruple crochets. So all that is is, is yarning over one extra time. So one, two, and three. Okay, and then you just work them the same way as you do a triple crochet. So you're just pulling through two, yarn over, pull through two, yarn over, pull through two, and yarn over, pull through two. So we just get a little bit of extra height there. Okay. Now for this, this bottom center one, we're going to chain 11. So 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8, 9, 10, and 11. And then we're quadruple crocheting into that next stitch. So just do the same again. So you're just yarning over, pulling through two, pulling through two, pulling through two. The next one is the same as this previous one. So chain nine. So we're working up the other side now. Three, four, five, six, seven, eight, and nine. And once again, well, no, sorry. We're going to a triple crochet here. So back to triple crochet. I was going to say we were doing another quadruple, but no, just to triple crochet here, chain seven, three, four, five, six, and seven. And then these last two are just triple crochets. So we're just mirroring what we did on the, the other side. And then seven again, three, four, five, six, and seven. And then triple crochet into that last space. So we had five in this previous row, so just count one, two, three, four, five, and then do your triple crochet into the sixth. And that is the main part of our spider web done. So what you can see that does is it just creates that more bandana-y shape, okay, by extending these ones here and using the quadruple crochet. Okay, so now we're going to create the ties and the neck area. So we're just going to chain from here however many you feel like you need. Three, four four and five, however many you feel like you need to create the length of the ties that you want. Now I, I like kind of longish ties, so it, it will depend entirely on the yarn that you're using and the hook that you're using. For this one here, I was um, using a slightly larger hook and the yarn is slightly larger, so um, I chained 60 for these ties. This one is a smaller hook and a smaller yarn, so I might chain a little bit extra. And I, I like to have, you know, kind of a quite a large bow at the back, so um, I tend to chain, you know, chain them quite long. But chain them however long you want them to be. So I've done five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten. So I'm going to go ahead and chain to the length that I want, and you do the same, and I'll meet you soon. Okay, so I've changed to the length that, I, length that I want, which is, I've done 75 uh, chains. So however many you think, you can try it on your cat, just making sure that you've got the neck circumference plus enough to make a tie at the back of the neck. 
Okay, so I'm going to chain one as my turning chain. And then all I'm going to do is just slip stitch down the length of this chain until I reach the place where I have three chains left. So keep moving down until you have three chains left at the end and I'll meet you and I'll show you what we're going to do with those last three chains. Okay, so I've got three chains left. So I'll show you what we're going to do with that final three. So in the third one or the, you know, the, the next one, we're going to single crochet. In the next one, we're going to half double crochet. And then in the last one, we're doing a double crochet. And then we're going to double crochet all the way along here. So it's up to you how you want to do that and how many you do. Um, what I tend to do is, now you can work into the chain if you wanted to. I'm not going to do that. I recommend that you work actually into the chain space. Oops. So we're just going to work double crochets along in the chain space. And just make sure that you're aware of how many you're putting in each chain space so you can do the same on the other side. Okay, so I've put in this chain space, I've put one, two, oh, oh how many? One, two, three, four. Okay, so I'm going to do that on the other side. Now I'm going to place a stitch into that chain where I've placed my stitch in that chain. And then I'm going to go back and work into the chain space. And two and three. So into this chain space, I think I'll just put three. Then I'm going to put a stitch into that chain. Then move along to the next chain space. Two and three. So yours might be slightly different to mine. You might have slightly different number of stitches. Just fill up those chain spaces. And then I work into, when I come to that, the end of each row, I work into the, the chain. Okay, so that's what I've done there. And then on this last one, let's put, let's see how one goes. I think I might want two in there. So you want them to be evenly spaced and to fill up those spaces. It kind of opens them up a bit too. Okay. I'm in the center here, so I'll work, and I'm going to start to work in my tail. You don't have to, you can sew it in at the end. So let's put one, and yeah, I'm going to put another one in there. I'm going to put another one in that center point. And then into this area here, into the ch ch next chain space, so I wanted to do the same as I did on this side, so I've got two in there. One and two. So I'm working over my tail as I go. Then into that end of the row. And then on this other side I worked three double crochets. On the other side I did the same. Yeah, three, three and four. So I want to work three in this one. And three and then I'm going to work three in the next one and four in the last one to make it the same as this other side so I'm just going to quickly do that off camera and then I will meet you when I get to the end here okay so I've worked right to the end here and I'll just pull my tail through make sure it's nice and nice and tight and then I will snip off that excess just be careful you don't snip anything else at the same time just get that excess off there and then all you're going to do is repeat the same process as you did for your first tie so I'm going to go ahead and chain my 75 I'm going to slip stitch down the chain so actually it would be 76 with my turning chain then I'm going to slip stitch all the way back down and I'm going to do the same as I did in these last three 
these last three chains over here. So I'll meet you back when I get down to my last three chains. So just repeat the process as you did for the first tie and I'll meet you once I get back here. Okay, so I've done my second tie and I'm just going to finish off in the same way as I finished off the last tie, a single crochet, then a half double crochet, and then a double crochet to finish off that chain. And then we're just going to, into the end, end here, we're just going to do, oops, do a slip stitch to join it, just into the end, edge there, and then yarn over and pull through to finish off. Oops. Get enough of a tail to weave in. And then all that's left to do is to weave in your tail end. You might have two if you haven't worked in that one in the center. You may have two. So just thread your darning needle. And you'll just weave, it's really easy just to weave it down into your double crochets there. So just weave it down. And just go backwards and forwards a time or two. And then just go backwards, just careful not to go back through the same loop or you'll unravel it. And then you can go back a third time if you feel like it, just to make sure it's nice and secure. Weave down. And then you'll just cut off any excess. So how simple and quick is that? To make a little, it's ideal for Halloween, but it's also kind of elegant um, as it is. So, I, you, you know, you could be creative with this and you could add a spider, you could add a little applique of a spider. I'm kind of partial just to having the spider web. So I've left it just simple and elegant with just the spider web. But, you know, go, go for it and create a spider or create however you want, you know, however you want to decorate it. So I'd love to see your photos and what you come up with. So send those along to catventurous.community at gmail.com or you can tag us on social media at catventurous.crochet. So I hope you've enjoyed this tutorial and I hope to catch you soon. Thanks. Bye. Hi everyone, welcome to our video tutorial for this spiderweb bandana. <laughs> it's not showing up super well on camera. Ready? You ready? Let's just do one more. One more. Ready? One more. One more. Take a bye -bye. Say bye. <coughs> yeah. Bye. <laughs> is that bye or is that mad? Is that bye or is that I'm mad? Really? Okay, one more. One more. Let's just do one more.